don't really understand why some people like to get autographs. To declare an interest, I know this will seem astonishing to you, for whom I'm basically a beard on top of a red shirt and in front of some opinions, but now and again, for whatever reason, strangers ask me to write my name for them. And it is my belief that this is not meant as a spot test of my literacy, but as a favour. Now, I'm perfectly happy to do it, but I have to admit I've never understood why they want me to. A photo proves you once met someone. But what does a piece of paper on which I've written my name prove? How to spell it? Of course, sometimes it's not just my name. Sometimes I write a message, you know, something heartfelt, witty, wise and personal, like best wishes. And even that's a lie. They're not my best wishes. I have better wishes than the wishes I wish strangers. I don't think that makes me a horrible person. It would be worse if I didn't, wouldn't it? If the best wishes you're ever going to get from me are the ones you'd get before I even knew your name. If I didn't reserve some of the warmer wishes for loved ones. But yes, OK, this is just a friendly gesture. I'm not under oath. And I'm aware there's no percentage in writing no hostile wishes, but I would kill you for the last morsel of food on earth as you would me. Best wishes will do nicely. Although what I actually do is alternate best wishes and all the best in a ridiculous attempt to counterfeit a personal touch. As if I think that afterwards two people will get together to compare what I've written and see that for one I've written all the best and for the other best wishes and go, wow, what a warm and generous person. He looked into our souls and handcrafted a message for each of us. Of course, some people will tell you what they want you to write, which solves that problem, but creates its own especially when the message clearly has meaning to the recipient, but none to you. So effectively, you are now writing a personal message you don't understand to a stranger. C could you just put, best of luck with the poo cake, Brenda? What does that mean? Am I going to get some poo cake now? Is the poo cake murderer about to strike again? If she does, is it my fault? Is there now written evidence of my complicity? Now, I've written a book, of course. D did I mention I've written a book? I I've written a book. It's about me. Not the most riveting of subjects, perhaps, but the only one in which I feel confident I'm a world expert. And now I've written one, I'll need to sign copies of that, too. Now, actually, I find that more understandable as a thing. Personally, I've never asked for an autograph, but I have got people to sign their books. In particular, I remember being given a book by Alan Bennett, who I very much admire. And the person who gave it to me had gone to some trouble to get the book to a place where Alan Bennett was signing books and then got him to write in it to David Mitchell. You know, my actual name. And I was definitely pleased by this. I thought it was an excellent present. Why? I appreciated the thoughtfulness, the trouble the giver had gone to. But that wasn't why I liked seeing my name in Alan Bennett's handwriting. And I certainly didn't for a moment think he was fond of me, that there was anything personal in the message. Someone had asked him to write my name in a book, and it was his job that day to write people's names in books, so he did. Indeed, one gathers from the book itself, it's a part of the job he particularly dislikes. So, so far from being a pleasure to him, I had caused this man I admire trouble. Writing my name was a chore, however insignificant, that he had to get through. And that, I suppose, is part of the pleasure of it. Not that I wanted to cause him trouble, but that I had, for a second and a half, changed his life. Here's this man who's written so many things I like, and now two of the things he's written, written longhand indeed, are the words that make up my name. It's like a tiny sliver of the pleasure I imagine a mad person would get from kidnapping a celebrity. Technically, I have changed Alan Bennett's life. If I had not existed, the story of his life would not be precisely identical to the way it is now. Because for two seconds of it, he wrote my name down. And yes, that thought gave me pleasure. So, to reiterate, I totally understand and sympathise with people who like to get autographs. Did I mention I've got a book out? 